I'm Lynn Prowse Bishop and this is The Virtual Business Show. I've spoken before on the issues that seem to be raised whenever someone wants to talk about what a virtual assistant is and what a VA isn't. It happened again in a VA group. Yes, that would be a group for VAs. It's written right there in the description. But still, there it was. A question was asked around what things members would like potential clients to know before hiring a VA. This drew quite a few responses along the lines of clients don't hire a VA. Hiring presumes employment perhaps use work with or partner with or contract. This was not well received. Eventually, because the poster was being told effectively she had it backwards, it deteriorated and she said, well, you can define your section of the industry how you like and I can define it how I like. What an interesting place we would live if this applied to all industries. I realise that we currently live in a world where there are fluid definitions for gender, where people can choose the pronouns they wish to be known by, that academics are telling us what new terms we should be using to describe mothers, for example. And so it's probably understandable that entrants to this decades-old industry similarly feel that it doesn't matter what terms they use. In terms of educating the public, it does. But let's just for a moment use the logic in, say, the airline industry. Let's say I'm the navigator on the plane. No one would ever expect me to be able to say I'm the pilot, despite we work in the same space or that I could tell him how he should do his job. Or say an operating theatre. There are many different fields of expertise in an operating theatre. The nurses, the anaesthetist, the surgeon. And whilst they all work in the medical industry, a nurse, for example, would never consider themselves a surgeon and would certainly not tell the surgeon how he should describe himself. If you're, say, a digital marketing expert who works in the virtual space, that doesn't make you a virtual assistant. That makes you a digital marketing expert who provides your services remotely. However, one commenter told us, VAs in a group for VAs, that this is actually what a VA is, a digital marketing expert who provides services remotely. Please don't lecture us that we have it wrong when we tell you clients don't hire us but contract us and that we are much more than one little section of the industry. These might be the sorts of remote workers that you hire, but they're not virtual assistants who partner with clients long term to move their businesses forward in a positive way. With respect, you cannot redefine a decades old industry any way you see fit. This person even said that clients onboard VAs. No, that would be the other way around VAs onboard clients. This is not our interpretation of the industry, it is not opinion, it's fact. A freelancer may well be hired, but a VA is not. A lot of the comments were coming from people not VAs, people not even a part of the industry, telling us how we should define it. One commenter, not a VA incidentally, said that to today's business owners, a VA is a virtual assistant who will assist with virtual outreach and marketing. Well, to that, I say that's probably the sort of support personnel that you've been looking for but it's not the definition of a virtual assistant. There are indeed VAs who specialise in marketing, but that's one niche of the industry, much like a nurse is one niche of the medical industry. So just for clarity, general definitions in this industry are as follows. A VA is a business owner, a highly skilled, independent, professional entrepreneur who provides remote, administrative, technical and or creative business support services to clients locally, nationally or globally. A freelancer is someone who works on single jobs or bids for jobs and piecework on places like Fiverr. A contractor is someone who is contracted to a business for short or long term or on projects. VAs can and do contract to clients on short term contracts as needed. A person employed or hired by your business to work remotely is a teleworker or a remote worker. The argument in this discussion was that you need to use the language potential clients understand, and clients understand hiring a VA. Well, I don't know the type of clients other remote service providers get, but the ones I partner with know they are not hiring me and I am not an employee. The language is the language of employment, and that opens a big can of worms. Clients know that I don't send them a CV or engage in an interview when we have a discovery call. We do explain a VA is a remote secretary when trying to explain the term, 
But to be honest, when you keep going around telling clients they are hiring you, expect them to consider the relationship master-servant. There are so many people out there now using that incorrect terminology because it's Upwork and Craigslist and Fiverr terminology. And that is not the place to find a professional VA who's going to become a long-term partner in your success. We were told, just use the terminology potential clients would use. Why do we have to use hiring a VA? Why can't we use the terminology that's been around for more than three decades, partnering with a VA, and educate the public on what it means to partner with a VA and the difference between that and hiring someone? One commenter then said, so when I hire a contractor to paint my house, should I be saying I'm partnering with them? Of course not. The administrative equivalent of someone painting your house would be using the services of a freelancer, and you do hire them, hence why it's Upwork, Craigslist, and Fiverr terminology. But VAs partner long-term with clients. I've been doing this for over 21 years now, and I partner with every one of my clients. I don't do piecework, and not many professional VAs I know do. Projects, yes, but one-off, never-see-you-again work, hardly ever. When I said that my clients partner with me, I was told business owners don't speak like that. Really? I'm a business owner. My clients are all business owners. We all speak like that. One commenter even referred to a discovery call or preliminary meeting as a job interview. It may seem like semantics, but it is a very important distinction and one that has legal and tax implications. A business owner who hires people is not the same as a business owner who contracts a VA, who is an independent contractor. Let's say, for example, I'm hired by Joe to work for his team. I would consider myself no longer independent. And in fact, in Australia, the government would also consider I am no longer independent for tax and superannuation purposes, and Joe becomes legally responsible for making contributions to my superannuation and needs to pay on costs like payroll tax, even if they sign a contract with me. The minute you use the words hiring, hiring process, or any other iteration of the same concept, you are styling the VA as an employee and the relationship is no longer independent. Language matters. It really does. If it didn't, we wouldn't have such a kerfuffle right now about mum and dad and pronouns. Using different words can muddy the waters about what a VA client relationship is, and we have a responsibility to ensure the marketplace understands the distinction because as I've just pointed out, there are legal ramifications if they don't. Language matters. I'm Lynn Prowse-Bishop. Thanks so much for listening. 